After the lockdown, we've tripled our sales. One extravagant way to relax, create your own at-home spa. It's not, you know, grandpa's chair anymore. James Park is the owner of Hytrons in Lexington, which launched in New Jersey in 2002. Hytron specialty, luxury massage chairs from Korea and Japan. What makes these chairs so different and so popular in Korea and Japan? So in Korea, it's well over 60% of the households own a massage chair. So you're going to see it at airports, you're going to see it in hotels, you're going to see it in cafes. Someone that you know will have one. The mega K-pop group BTS appears in ads for massage chairs. The chairs are a constant presence on popular Korean melodramas. There's over 200 different massage chairs, maybe more, in the world. My father's an engineer, so he kind of nitpicks the brands he wants to work with and ended up choosing about three to four brands that we've worked with. It's a family-run business? It's a family-run business, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. who's involved? Mom, dad, sister, brother. Yeah. It's like calling my name, Shana. Shana, jump in. Hush, little oh, baby, oh, don't gosh. say a word. Oh, oh yes. Oh my goodness, it's already cozy. Ah, oh, good night. See you guys later. It's actually just scanning your body. These chairs can scan the body to find accurate pressure points. So it's custom to my body. Yes. Oh, I love that. Users can select different massage techniques, including Swedish and Shiatsu. Oh, it's tickling my feet. Even sleep therapy. It's going to be hard for you guys to get me out of this chair. <sighs> well, I didn't do my yoga this morning, so this might be a good <laughs> substitute. There are even chairs for kids. There's going to be a um, hand massage feature going off. So it'll pressurize your hands, your wrists, all the way to your forearms. I honestly do not want this to end. <laughs> These are big ticket items, ranging from $5,500 to $10,000. Park says the right massage chair is a lifestyle investment, almost like buying a car. It's a solution that's always there for you whenever you need it. Just another hard day on the job. Okay, it was pretty awesome. And James Park says you really have to try the chairs to see which one best suits you. He's had customers fall asleep in the chairs while testing them out. Another time, a couple stayed so long trying to decide that they took a break and ordered pizza. James loves sharing that story because it reflects his goal for the store, making visitors feel right at home. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. Stay tuned for ABC's special coverage of President Biden's address to the nation coming up right after Chronicle. Good night, everyone.